Ford 1600 festival at Mondello Park. Much of the attention was on young Irish driver Neil Shanahan, who has impressed everyone in Formula Ford this year. So to the Formula Ford 1600, Kent, who supported the new ZTEX at the Ford Festival. Their final was decided by two very quick heats, where they then lined up alongside each other for the finals. The first of these heats was led all the way to the last lap by the star of this year, young Neil Shanahan. But unfortunately, his brakes let go, and he had to start on the sixth row. There was no doubt about the winner of the second heat, our English visitor, Jonathan Price, who led from lights to flag. And so for the final grid, and it's our English visitor on pole position. Beside him is Damien Burke. On the next row, we have Peter Hackett, another English visitor on the outside of that row. And beside him is David Donegan. We look way back down the grid to see where young Shannon has to start from, but in between him, we have Michael Kyohan, who's another star this year, and Brendan McKenna. Now, there is Shannon. Look how far he is back. Will he have a chance, Arnie? Well, he's going to have to go like the clappers right from the word go. Look at Shannon trying this inside line as he's so close to the barrier over the yellow line. Did they touch wheels there? And he's moved up yet another place as they go to. Looking at his murders there, McKenna in the Master Track Interiors car. This car also supported by Ballymore Homes, a local building firm to Nace. But oh, slices across the nose there. Now, Neville Smith, I think it is, didn't give him much room, but Shannon wasn't worrying about it. And Price still leading here, but Burke hasn't given up. You can see as they come around here again, the two of them are very close together. There's McKenna, a wily old competitor, but look at Shannon, the amount of time he has pulled back already on these four. And he's having another look at Aston as they go up into the left-hander, and he slipped through, in through the double left-hander. Now, that is really something to do. And he's now got himself up another place, and he's got a little bit of clear road. Now we'll see him close up with the guys in front. Well, I've said before, I haven't actually seen this young man race because he usually gets his head down from the front row and away he went like he didn't eat. But he's proving me totally wrong. Any doubts I had about his motoring capabilities is being wiped out at the moment. And the next man on his list has to be one of the hardest to get by, our man Brent. Again, Shannon on the tail as he comes down into the braking. Will he try it this time? He's watched, got to watch him front because Donegan's having a move. Oh, and Owen oh, Brendan has just given it to him. A little much, too much loud pedal with the right foot. And Shannon is too. Super, Arnie. Well, down into the hairpin. He's trying to go the long way round, risky manoeuvre. Braking. Oh, right round the outside. Has he just got enough? Oh, he's right with the wheel on the edge of the dirt. Now they go into the left-hander. Oh, McKenna comes from nowhere to zoom past. He'll be doing some chuckling inside that helmet. And that was the danger, of course, when you try to pull off a stunt like that with someone like Brendan there. If he sees a little gap in between, poor Shannon has it all to do again. But McKenna is now going to be under huge pressure. He's getting a little bit ragged now, looking in the mirrors. Shanahan dives down the inside. Car brilliant under brakes. He's really tremendous into here. And he's got McKenna again. This time, I think he's going to try and make it stick. So he'll probably be neat into the hairpin this time. You see him checking in the mirrors. He's got a car length. I'd say McKenna's probably knackered at this stage and decides to let him go. Well, he did leave the door wide open there. And again, shows you the confidence of this young man, Neil Shannon. Gets out wide at the entrance of the hairpin and floors it through. Now he's got Donegan in his sights. He's, put, he's already on the tail of Donegan. And this is going to let uh, Damien Burke maybe have a run free. It does. He's got a car link. But this is be brave if he gets away with this one. Down the outside, backs off, has a look at the inside, back to the outside. This is some wee pilot. Yeah, he's amazing. He can actually try either side coming in there where you think he would be committed. He can still change line at the last moment. Again, he's changing line at the last moment. Down the inside. Now he's looking down around the outside. Will he have another nibble through this right-hander? We saw him do this before, but it didn't pay off for him. As they come up the hill now, he must have a look at outbreak. But they get the door firmly closed, so he's going to go around the outside, get back in the power early and try and out drag them down between the pit wall as they go down towards the start finish. And there's not a lot of room down there, but look, he's managed it. He's got level, squeezed past, and now he can set about Burke. He's got to be careful, not many laps left. 
Oh, and he opens the door so wide, and Donegan just locking a wheel there, so that shows again the confidence in already has his sights definitely set on Burke. I'm not sure about our leader. I don't think he can be caught at the moment, but a lot of things can happen between now. Just three laps to go. Again, that wide outside line, turning back up the hill through the S's is the next one you can see there. Jonathan Price just sailing away in the distance, but these two beginning to fall over each other again, as Arnie said, that wide line, he tries to get this slingshot through. Will he try the same manoeuvre up at the top hairpin and try that inside line down the straight? Very interesting. He backed off a little bit there, almost to give himself some more room, but look at Donaghy down the inside. Shannon still around the outside, just a tip in the nose there. But look at it. It has put him again on the inside for this run down to the hairpin. It's amazing the way he can get away with this manoeuvre time after time. And he drives the car very like Richard Lyons, leaves the door wide open and you think he's got it. But look at that. He comes across the front so quickly. He's gained a car length on them because they're on a tighter line. But you've got to be sometimes a bit lucky to get away with it. Well, Burke actually had a wheel up on the dirt, up on the curb. And look, he's out on his own, already pulled a few car lengths. And there is no doubt who the star of Formula Ford 1600 this year is after this drive. I enjoy dicing with, Brand uh, dicing with Brandon McCann because we had a good tussle in the Phoenix Park. But I think David Donegan was the hardest man to pass. He was giving me a hard time when he was holding his position. And Neville Smith as well. We had a good run down the straight towards the barrier. Uh, nail biting stuff, I think. Congratulations, Grant. A superb drive. Thanks very much.